Hi, so you've bought yourself your new NAS server and you're wondering about which drives to go for, but you intend to use lots of things like MediaPlex and stuff like that, and Kodi and streaming all your media, 4K, etc. But at the same time, you want to utilize all kinds of surveillance stuff with the surveillance software and IP cameras. So, which drive should you buy? Ones that are dedicated towards surveillance or ones that are dedicated towards NAS? Let's find out. <laughs> So when you pick between these two for your NAS, it is worth noting that I know it can be difficult. Some of you out there are buy buying your NAS for the first time. Maybe you've already bought it and you're worried you bought the wrong drives. Or you're trying to tick every single box before you pull the trigger and buy your NAS. And I get that, I really do. Buying which right media for you is important. If you check out my other videos where I talk about what the different intended use for all the different WD and Seagate drives, it will make more sense. But that nowhere in many guides does it mention what happens if you're utilizing one device for two purposes. In the case here, most Synology and QNAP NASs, particularly the flagship models, arrive with fantastic media support with 4K and 1080p, as well as transcoding in Plex and other media server applications. At the same time, they arrive with excellent surveillance solutions where you've got an entire control deck of cameras recording a multi, you know, 10, 20, 40 cameras all to the NAS that you want to access from time to time. Now, what that comes down to is, which of these should you go for? Should you pick one, say the NAS hard drives? Should you pick the surveillance hard drives? Or should you use both, two and two? Well, there's no clear answer, and it all comes down to how you, the percentages of how you use the device. First and foremost, I would not recommend having two and two, two RAID 1s or whatever in your device. Having two independent RAIDs in a storage solution can really tax the CPU and it can make the device work more harder than it should, which can always be detrimental to the hardware inside your NAS. But if you're utilizing uh, surveillance a lot, for those that aren't aware, surveillance hard drives, the reason they're surveillance specialized is because one, there's an incredible, uh, an incredibly large proportion of writing happening from all of those cameras to the media and with regards to reading, you'll barely ever access that footage at the same time. These drives are designed to be read and written to as much as possible at the same time. So if you've got feeds coming from multiple cameras onto the NAS, you still want to be able to access that footage without interrupting the recording of those cameras. And that's why purple drives are important. They give a far better preference to um, writing rather than read. NAS hard drives give a nice balance between read and writing. Both of them are designed to be on for 24 seven and both of them are great for RAID. But when it comes to multimedia, particularly streaming, there's a lot of read writing going on, and particularly when backups and the ability for a drive to be able to read and write with equal proficiency, it can make choosing between them difficult. But what for me it comes down to is proportions. I know it sounds a bit obvious, but both of these can do the other one's job. They just happen to not do them as well. So NAS drives can cover surveillance and purple can cover NAS. But it all depends which one you're going to use more. I know it seems a bit obvious, but take my word for it. If you're going to utilize your NAS more for surveillance with the occasional bit of media, and I'm talking 75 to 25%, go for the purple hard drives if surveillance is the larger proportion. Because that's what you have to give preference to. The NAS will still be able to utilize the rest of the drives for regular NAS, and vice versa if it's 75% media and 25% surveillance, go for the red drive, go for the NAS based hard drive like uh, WD Red and Seagate um, Iron Wolf. Because those NAS hard drives are going to be doing the bulk of, those of the work because of the NAS use of that device. But what about if it's 50 50? If you're going to be utilizing it fairly equally, so you've filled the device up with 4 TB drives and in a RAID 5, you've got around 12 TB of accessible data storage, and you're wondering about which one to go for, go for the WD Red. Because don't get me wrong, I know it's 50-50 and I've said whichever one's got the preference is the one you should buy, but between them, the WD Red draw hard drives are just a better drive if you're in a 50-50 situation where you can't decide which one takes preference. So once again, to confirm, if you're going to be utilizing the device mostly for surveillance, it is fine to fully populate it with surveillance hard drives because they can still perform the media tasks well enough. Well enough is key word there. If it's more NAS than surveillance, Go for the NAS drives, it sounds obvious, but it's true. And finally, if it's a 50-50 split between them, go for the NAS hard drives anyway, because they're still gonna do a great job of surveillance. And if you are doing 50-50, chances are you're not really using more than about four to six cameras maximum, so you're not gonna to be too affected. If you're running 10, 20 cameras, slightly different, and I definitely don't think you're gonna be watching as much media to meet that 50-50 criteria. But 
If you want to learn more, then do click the link in the comment and in the description below to take you to NASCompares.com. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to support the channel. I need you, you need me, let's do this. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.